Welcome to Medicomp. We've been advancing diagnostic cardiology since 1981. Medicom presents a patient guide for the Duet 2-in-1 monitor. Samsung Jack version. Your doctor has prescribed the Duet cardiac monitor and entrusted Medicom to help identify possible cardiac arrhythmias. To provide your doctor with the most accurate information, it is recommended that you watch this entire video before beginning your monitoring procedure and fully review the documentation included in the kit. Chapter 1. The Smartphone and Pendant. Let's first become familiar with the Medicomp smartphone. There are a few buttons you will use throughout your procedure. On, off button. Left soft key. Right soft key. Select key. Directional arrows and back key. You'll also be using the charging port. The smartphone has been configured for the cardiac monitoring functions only and cannot be used as a phone. Now let's become familiar with the pendant. The pendant has an on off button, the symptom button, patient cable connector, and lanyard hook. On the back, you'll find the battery compartment and the toll-free number to the Medicomp Cardiac Monitoring Center. Connecting yourself. The doctor's office may have connected you to the monitor, or you may have received the monitor in the mail to hook up yourself. Let's take a moment to review the process on how to connect yourself. Preparing your skin. Before applying the electrode patches, follow the steps on how to prep your skin. Take care in preparing your skin for application of the adhesive electrode patches. Good skin preparations mean ECG signal traces that are better for review and evaluation. Step 1. Choose areas of the chest that are flat and not very muscular within the areas indicated on the illustration. Avoid skin folds or creases, irritated skin, and scars as best as possible. Step 2. Shave areas with hair using the electrode patches as a guide for the size of area to shave. This ensures good contact and makes electrode removal easier. Step 3. Wash each site well with plain soap and water. You should not use soap that contains lotion or oil. Dry thoroughly. Applying the electrode patches. Find the patient cable. First take the wire with the white terminal. Snap the white wire onto one of the electrode patches. Peel it from the plastic backing and apply it to the upper right area of your chest, approximately two fingers width below the collarbone, and two fingers width from the sternum or breastbone. Remember white on right when applying electrodes. This will help you remember to always place the white electrode on the right side of your chest. Now take the wire with the black terminal and snap it onto one of the electrode patches. Peel it from the plastic backing and apply it to the lower right below the white one. It should be applied over the first rib you feel below the breast in a direct line down from the midpoint of the collarbone. For those with large breasts, move the electrode out from underneath the breast, more outwardly towards a line that can be drawn vertically from the armpit. Finally, take the wire from the red terminal and snap it onto one of the electrode patches. Peel it from the plastic backing and apply it to the lower left, opposite the black one. It should be applied in the same position as the black, but on the opposite side. Changing electrodes. We recommend that you change your electrodes every two days, moving their location slightly to prevent skin irritation. Starting the pendant and smartphone. Pendant. The pendant operates on one AA alkaline battery and will beep periodically to alert you when the battery is getting low. Follow these steps when installing a new battery. The location of the battery compartment is on the back of the pendant. First, turn off the pendant by pressing the on-off button on its side. It's important that you power off the pendant before changing the battery. Slide the battery door in the direction of the embossed arrow to remove the battery door and then remove the AA battery. Use the ribbon attached if needed. Insert a new battery using the embossed picture inside the compartment as your guide. Align the cover to the compartment and slide the door back into position. 
Both the pendant and smartphone will alert you during the course of this procedure when the battery is low. Next, turn on the pendant. Press and hold the on-off button on the side of the pendant until you see the device lights blink and hear a three-tone chirp. This indicates that the unit has successfully turned on. Plug the patient cable into the top of the pendant if it's not already plugged in. Smartphone. Turn the Medicomp smartphone on by pressing the power button located on the left side. The smartphone will run through its initialization until the main screen appears. Press the left soft key under Start Procedure. The next screen will give you instructions on applying the electrode patches, which you should have already completed. Next, press the left soft key under OK to go to the next step. The smartphone and pendant communicate via Bluetooth technology. A busy indicator appears on the smartphone screen while they connect. You will see a screen labeled Current Procedure Settings. The standard settings for an adult are preset into the smartphone. If you are connecting a child or you have a pacemaker, please call the number on the back of the pendant for assistance. Press the left soft key under Accept Settings to continue. A busy indicator appears, followed by an ECG waveform while the smartphone is initialized and learns your ECG signal. Once the pendant is linked with the smartphone, the ECG waveform disappears from the screen and monitoring with the current time appears on the screen. Once the initial setup is complete, the monitor will automatically begin to monitor your ECG. Your cardiac monitoring procedure is now running. If you see something other than monitoring, leave the electrodes on your skin for 15 minutes and try the setup again. Wearing the monitor wearing the pendant. You may wear the pendant around your neck using the lanyard or on your belt or other clothing using the belt clip. Please do not use the lanyard while sleeping or operating machinery. You should keep the pendant hooked up to you as much as possible during the length of your procedure, including when you sleep and during your regular daily activities, but always follow your doctor's instructions. Do not submerge or soak the devices in water. The handset and other accessories are not water resistant. Please take precautions to prevent the smartphone from any moisture. Bathing and showering. Before you shower or bathe, unsnap the wires from the electrode patches. You may leave the patches on your chest, but avoid applying water and soap directly to them unless you are changing your patches, in which case getting them wet may make it easier to remove. Sleeping. Here are some suggestions for sleeping. Wear the pendant on the waistband of your night clothing. Place the pendant beside you with the wires extended as much as possible so that you don't roll over the unit. Wear a shirt with a breast pocket and place the pendant in the pocket. Wearing the smartphone. It is not necessary to always keep the smartphone on your person, but as much as possible. Keep the pendant and smartphone within 10 feet of each other so that they may communicate. The pendant will continue to capture your ECG, even if it's temporarily away from the smartphone. But your data cannot be sent to Medicomp until you are once again within range of the smartphone. A note of caution. Both the pendant and the smartphone should be worn outside your clothing if there's any chance that perspiration may come in contact with the devices. They should also be protected during wet or cold weather conditions. Recording and sending your symptoms. Whenever you feel a symptom, press the symptom button on the pendant. There are two options to record a symptom with this monitoring system. Option one, using the pendant. Pressing the symptom button on the pendant. Option two, using the smartphone. Pressing the left soft key under the record send on the smartphone. Either option will initiate recording in progress and the smartphone's display screen will show a progress bar. If the smartphone screen has gone blank to conserve power, press any key to light it up again. Now, it's time to make your diary entry. While your ECG recording is taking place, you can input a description of your symptoms into the smartphone's diary. After you initiate the recording of a symptom, select Diary with the left soft key. Press the left soft key again to choose Select Options. Using the arrow keys, you can then select from the list of symptoms. Once you have identified your symptom, press the Select button. Repeat the same steps to choose your location and activity. 
Then select Save with the left soft key to return to the monitoring display. You also have the option to make a voice recording as your diary entry. Select Diary with the left soft key and then select Audio Diary with the right soft key and follow the directions on the screen. Speak clearly and slowly into the phone. Hold the phone in the same manner you would if you were placing a phone call. Please remember to briefly describe your symptom, location, and activity in a slow, clear voice. Skipped heartbeat, watching television at home. When you have finished your voice recording, press Done with the left soft key. Powering the pendant and smartphone. Charging the smartphone. Be sure to charge the smartphone daily. Charging the smartphone overnight should ensure enough battery power to last an entire day. The charger can be found in your kit. Connect one end to the smartphone and the other to a wall power outlet. You will see a battery indicator on the screen. Once the smartphone is fully charged, disconnect the cable. Pendant battery. The pendant uses one AA alkaline battery that needs to be replaced periodically. The smartphone will alert you when the pendant's battery needs to be changed. The pendant will also beep periodically when it's time to change the battery. Returning the monitor. Once your procedure is complete, please place all components into the monitor kit and place the kit into the prepaid return shipping envelope provided. Place the envelope in any U.S. Postal Service mailbox or hand it to a postal carrier. We're here to help 24 hours a day. Please visit the Patient Center on our website at medicompinc.com forward slash patient hyphen center or call us toll free at 877-996-5553.